Hey guys, good morning. Ryan here again for another recap. So today we didn't have a lot of movers. We have KHC, GLW, and HAL. So yeah, let's see what happens at the open and yeah, let's watch. Hal actually did a pretty good move, but I didn't focus on that. I was focusing more on KHC. So the reason why I shorted KHC here, it's because it broke. It's it it's breaking the pre market, uh, pre market low. So yeah, I was anticipating it will reach this level, like twenty. There's a big, big, big bid here. Yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, dumping, dumping. My average was 28.40. So I'm like a few cents away. There. There you go. Like, there's some huge orders here. Huge orders. So that's what I'm trying to reach. Yep. So it didn't move. It didn't move, move as much so i took some off here probably like in in a 10 cent move i took 50 percent off here because it wasn't pushing but volume is coming in so new low 24 i was really hoping to get this this uh price so I took some more, another 50%. I was basically risking this high of day. So imagine I have like one R. But, you know, it wasn't enough. I think if it moved around this area, it could have been a really good profit. Yep, moved too much. It moved so fast. I'm out. So I didn't really get my one R. Uh, I probably get half R here. One R is like my one risk. So if I'm if I'm risking one, I should at least get one R as well. If you get two R, that's the best. If you get three R's, that's way way better. So I I was done, but you know I wanted to get more. So I was looking for a short re-entry here, but let's see. It looks like it's making an engulfing candle which is a really really bad sign so this if this is way way bigger than the previous candle it's called engulfing candle so the reason why i didn't want to get in here because of this so this could easily go to 60 from 40 that's like 20 cents 20 cents is a lot for this uh for this stock so khc has like an 60 cent atr it means it can probably move just like 60 cents within a day so it's like it's a very tight range so you really have to be careful where, where you get in so getting in here before was was great but i should have i should have added more shares here like heavy 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 size so i'm looking for a re-entry because it didn't break the high of day so yeah it's good to re-enter at vwap if it's me and you risk just here oh that's what i did yeah but oops yeah it looks like it's squeezing so when i got in here i think if i was telling myself i told myself if it goes above 60 28 60 i'm gonna get out which it didn't so get in here hoping for another probably break if it doesn't i'll probably take profit here in this area and probably all out here yeah it's crazy how the market moves at the open so you have to be really really fast so this is real time by the way this is real time uh market market movement 
so i didn't i didn't make it uh, i didn't fast forward the video yeah so i took some off which you know uh, i probably didn't like how it's moving up and it's probably holding this price Let's see so i took probably 50 percent here one to one yeah i'm out at break even i was probably really scared because i didn't want to i didn't want to give back my profit i should have just stopped trading in this area at this time Let's fast forward the video, the video a bit, probably twice. Yep. I think I re-entered again for the third time. Yep, there you go. I was really hoping to break, to break the low day. She didn't. So I, could, I think I took some off. It was just a messy day, messy trade, but at least I'm green. I don't normally trade like this. It depends on the stock. That's why I don't like trading uh, stocks that has like a tight range. I prefer trading stocks that has higher ATR, like at least more than one or 150. Yep. All out. Yeah. So, you know, I got a really good profit here. But I think I traded one more. <laughs> I was really hoping to get this level 20. Yeah, then probably end of day will happen. So I re-entered short because like this kind of triangle is a good sign that it will probably break the low of day. But it didn't. Again, it held this price. So I should have gotten out at break even, but I didn't. I was trying to hold. This is where you lose a lot of money. And you hold a position that you know and the price goes goes against you. So yeah. I had a chance to get out here. I didn't. I was stubborn. So all my profit were here. At this trades. And this messy trades. So this, so this one is fast forward to five times. Get out. I actually held and added more. Never, never re average. Never, never add to a losing trade. So I got in here. I added more here. So my price is at break even now. So I think I took some off here, took heavy, and ordered to get out at break even. So yeah, whew. it's good. It's good I got, I got out in a really bad trade. So yeah, I hope you guys learned something from it. I know it's too fast, but that's how I trade. Some people like to hold longer. You know, I'm a very impatient person. I like to get profit really quick. So I like scalping. So yeah, that's my day. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I will try to post this kind of trades every day and 
share you my thought process share you my strategy on how i trade actually i don't have any strategy i just scalp <laughs> i just scalp uh the open i like i like trading the open because it moves too fast and you know i have a day job i have to go to work nine o'clock so i only have like an hour to trade and a few minutes to do this kind of a recap for you guys so i will appreciate if you guys share this channel to your friends who are traders or who, who do you think has the same interest and yeah let me know if you have any suggestions let me know if you want to learn something speak up message me in instagram ryan underscore pdt message me here in youtube you can comment if you have if you want to know something if you want to learn something if you're curious about something brokers platforms everything just comment and i will reply if i have time yeah so have a good day everyone see you guys tomorrow peace